Imagine you are sitting on an airplane, seatbelt fastened tight, the roar of the engines rumbling beneath your feet. You feel the power as you're pushed back into your seat, the aircraft racing down the runway, ready to take to the skies. It's a magical moment of aviation until everything collapses. On May 5, 2019, Aeroflot Flight 1492 left Sheremetyevo Airport in Moscow, carrying 78 souls and countless dreams of a safe journey. But just minutes later, a fateful bolt of lightning turned that dream into a nightmare. What happened in those first moments of the flight? Who were the people at the controls of this machine? And how did a seemingly perfect takeoff lead to a tragedy where 41 people never returned? Let's step into the cockpit where it all began. Take off the moment every pilot's heart beats a little faster. A machine weighing dozens of tons, full of passengers, fuel, and hope, must lift off the ground in just a few short seconds. How does this miracle happen? First, the pilots and crew perform a sacred ritual, the pre-flight check. They run through a long checklist from engines, wings, down to the smallest electronic circuit. Everything must be perfect. A faulty valve, a bad sensor, even a loose bolt could seal the fate of a hundred people. When the aircraft is cleared, it rolls slowly along the taxiway, like a giant beast preparing to pounce. The engines begin to roar, awaiting clearance from air traffic control. When permission is granted, the pilot pushes the throttle, and the mighty machine surges forward. The jet engines roar, slicing through the air, sucking in wind, burning fuel, and blasting out streams of power to accelerate the plane. The wings, designed like a bird's, start to sing as air flows over them, generating miraculous lift. Flaps, flexible metal panels on the wings are adjusted to increase lift, helping the plane take off at lower speeds. When the speed reaches the threshold, usually about 260 km per hour for a Sukhoi Superjet 100, the pilot gently pulls the yoke. The nose lifts, the wheels leave the ground, and for a moment, you are no longer part of the Earth. But takeoff isn't just about technique. It's a dance between humans, machines, and the sky. One small mistake, and everything can vanish. May 5, 2019, Sheremetyevo Airport, Moscow, was bustling as always. A Sukhoi Superjet 100, registration RA 89098, stood proudly at the gate, ready for flight 1492 to Murmansk. The aircraft was still new, with only 2,710 flight hours and 1,658 takeoff landing cycles. On board, 73 passengers were buckled in, chatting or quietly looking out the windows. The five crew members, led by Captain Denis Evdokimov, were preparing for what seemed like a routine journey. Before takeoff, the crew performed careful checks. Engines, electronics, Flaps, all were confirmed to be working normally. The weather at Sheremetyevo that day was nothing unusual. No storms, no strong winds, just a peaceful afternoon. Air traffic control gave the signal, cleared for takeoff. At 18.02 local time, the captain pushed the throttle and the Sukhoi Superjet rolled down runway 24 left. The engines roared, passengers felt the thrust push them back, the nose lifted, and seconds later, the plane left the ground climbing into the blue sky. No one knew that. Just minutes later, everything would change forever. Flight 1492 had just reached 2,700 meters, barely time to settle into cruise. Suddenly, a flash split the sky. A bolt of lightning struck the aircraft, like a blade slicing through its electronic systems. The cockpit screens flickered. Automation was knocked out, and the crew realized they were facing a fight for survival. Captain Denis Evdokimov sent out a Mayday Squawk 7700 alerting air traffic control that the aircraft was in emergency. With communication and automatic control systems damaged, the pilots had to switch to manual control, a challenge that demanded absolute skill and calm. The plane turned back towards Sheremetyevo for an emergency landing, just 30 minutes after takeoff. But the story didn't end there. On approach, the plane touched down at a dangerously high speed, 260 km per hour, with an impact force over 5 gram. The landing gear shattered, fuel spilled out, and fire erupted. 
engulfing the rear of the aircraft. 41 people, including two children, never escaped the nightmare. In the cockpit of flight 1492, two experienced pilots were fighting to save everyone on board. Who were they? Captain Denis Evdokimov. Denis Evdokimov, 42, was a seasoned pilot with over 8,000 flight hours, including 1,400 on the Sukhoi Superjet 100. He was the commander, bearing the responsibility of bringing 78 souls to safety. When the lightning struck, Evdokimov quickly switched to manual control, trying to get the plane back to Sheremetyevo. But later investigations questioned, did he set the correct flap configuration for landing, or did the lightning make any effort hopeless? First Officer Maxim Kuznetsov Maxim Kuznetsov, 36, was Evdokimov's right hand. With 4,500 flight hours, including more than 600 on the superjet, Kuznetsov helped the captain communicate with air traffic control and monitor the systems. In the moment of crisis, he maintained contact with the ground and tried to coordinate as the aircraft fell into chaos. But did they have enough time to handle such a sudden emergency? Both pilots survived, but had to face harsh public judgment. Some called them heroes for trying to save the plane under impossible circumstances. Others questioned their skills and decisions. The truth remains in the shadows. Aeroflot 1492 is a sobering reminder of how fragile aviation can be. A bolt of lightning, a single mistake, or a minor technical fault can turn the dream of flight into tragedy. From a hopeful takeoff to a fire that devoured everything, this story leaves a scar that will never fade. The crash raises tough questions. Is the Sukhoi Superjet 100 truly reliable? Were the pilots trained well enough to handle the unexpected? And most importantly, what can we do to make sure we never see another tragedy like this? The story of Flight 1492 isn't just about an accident. It's about people, decisions, and the moments that determine life or death. What do you think about what happened? Could the captain and first officer have done something different to change the outcome? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss more gripping aviation stories. Share this video to remember those who were lost, and together, let's learn so the skies stay safe.